Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot. Oh, bringing Libras, their uh, monthly love read. This is going to be for March 2024. But whenever you come across this reading, Libra is when it's meant for you to see it. So time is fluid and time is really irrelevant in tarot. Um, but we're going to pull some cards of what do you need to know in love. Um, we are also going to get some love and romance journey cards from Queen Sugar Tarot, the Soul Reflections Love Oracle cards, the Hermit Tarot Channeled Love Messages, and Love vibe cards from king of aloha um please keep in mind that these are general reads so um take whatever resonates and leave the rest um sorry i'm distracted by your cards they're general reads take what uh resonates and leave the rest if you feel like this is really not hitting the mark you can check your moon and your rising signs if you're unsure of what your moon and your rising signs are there's a link in the description box below to get you to a website it's just a, a, a birth chart website you could google it if you wanted to use a different one um i'm not affiliated with the one that's linked but um also, there's a link in the description box for a general read if you're interested in a general or a personal read. I'm sorry, a personal read with me. There's a link in the description box to my personal webpage. Um, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoy this video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Um, I would appreciate it. So, but only if you feel inclined to do so. All right, guys. So I feel like Libras, you have been experiencing some heartbreak. I feel like you've been experiencing some sleepless nights, some stress some anxiety, heavy, heavy, heavy stress, anxiety, heartbreak, grief, loss. Um, this could be in terms of a love situation. This could be in terms of a, um, a loss of a, a job. This could be in terms of just general anxiety. This could be a past hurt. Um, but I feel like you've definitely been having some times of sadness and anxiety, um, grief and anxiety, loss and anxiety, any combination or all of the above um, in a situation, heartbreak, anxiety, sleepless nights, crying yourself to sleep. Um, I feel like there's been a lot of stress, but very, very, very good news is coming your way, Libra. So we have the six of pentacles. We have the seven of pentacles. Sorry, my dog is um, trying to get my attention and we have the knight of cups. So I do feel like what you have coming towards you is someone who is really wanting, willing um, to provide and give a love offer. This person is coming in like on a white horse to save the day. They might bring you roses. They might take you on a picnic. They might write you a love letter. They might provide wine. That's kind of all this stuff right here. Um, but this person is going to be kind of putting out all the stops to show that they have all these feelings of love towards you. Um, like I said, we have the six and then the seven of pentacles. So the six of pentacles is a very balanced energy. Sorry, I'm trying to pet my dog with one hand so she won't make crazy noises and bother me. And I'm trying to read tarot with the other hand but um, and get hair out of my face at the same time. The six of pentacles is a very balanced uh, connection between you and this person. Um, this person is going to provide a lot of stability. This person is going to provide an equal give and take. This person is going to provide um, a very stable a stability, stable relationship. Um, it's going to be equal give and take. It will not be one-sided. It will not be all you. Um, it will be both of you working together um, graciously together to make something work. I feel like this situation um, has already kind of been planted. So to me, I don't feel like this is like a brand new person. This is someone who is present um, in some capacity. Doesn't mean it's like the person you're dating, not necessarily, but it's um, someone who you have been able to plant a seed with. And you will see things grow to fruition with this person. Um, obviously, when you plant a seed, you need to water it. You need to give it sunlight. You need to provide care for it, right? Get the weeds away from it for it to really grow and flourish. And I feel like this connection has an underlying um, situation like that. Um, on the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Cups. This is a true wish fulfillment. This is true love. This is a situation of all your dreams and wishes coming true as it relates to love. This is multitudes of love and then underneath that we have the two of cups which is true love soulmate marriage energy to me um just glorious goodness of love happiness and soulmate energy um all right so so just pet my dog and i got hair all over me but uh let's get some love and romance journey cards from queen sugar tarot for libras regrets yeah i feel like um i'm not sure reflection and independence yeah, I feel like, um, guys, you've definitely been going through something, like I said, with that Five of Swords and that uh, Nine of Swords energy, something that you've regretted, you've been heard about, that you're reflecting upon. And I feel like it's created you to like really seek this independence, independent side of you um, to focus on yourself, to not count on other people. Like, I feel like you're like, I got it. I got it. 
Um, we also have Twin Flame on the bottom of the deck, guys. So this could be um, some of that conflict could be coming from a, a Twin Flame energy, but um, or this could be um, a Twin Flame person that you're coming in contact with soon. So and we just have yes. It looks like a marriage card, so I'm going to show you that card in a second. This is the Soul Reflections Love Oracle deck. Release and let go. Freaking twin flames again. Choose love on the bottom of the deck. Underneath that's wedding bells, um, which I wanted to show you. This looks like a marriage to me. Like it looks like she's got a bouquet of flowers, bouquet, bouquet, however you say it. Um, wedding dress kind of silhouette. Release and let go, and two cards oops, of twin flames. Uh, I think this might be a twin flame connection, guys. All right, let's get a couple of Hermit Tarot Channeled Love Messages for Libras. This one's going really fast. I have so much desire for you, so that's like my Ace of Wands card. That's like the magic stick. What? What? Um, lots of passion, lots of chemistry, lots of intense sexual attraction. You got the Ace of Wands twice. Holy freaking magic stick. If you don't know that song, check it out. Little, little Kim and uh, 50 Cent. You are right. Were you just thinking of something? You are right. I got the magic stick. What? What? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Sorry. If you don't know that song, check it out. Um, all right. So your um, love vibe cards from King of Aloha, the first one that's came out says I'm dating someone else right now bad timing so I feel like this could be like um, a comment that was stated previously maybe that's when a seed was planted um, maybe someone tried to date you and you're dating someone else I see myself having kids with you you are my ideal type maybe someone said those exact words to you or you've said them to someone else um, I need to spend more time with you to understand my feelings Oh, and then the bottom of the deck says, I don't think I'm good enough for you. So that might be some of that uh, nine of swords kind of um, energy of overthinking, sleepless nights, crying yourself to sleep. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I feel like uh, this twin flame connection is uh, substantial. It's showing up um, as something that's already been planted, like going to show up to end up be true love, uh, true love, soulmate energy cups and cups of love running over. This looks like a great read for you Libras. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel inclined to do so. And until the next time guys, take care. Thanks for watching.